if we look into the uh, special form of energy equation, right? So, which is the additional speed of sound. So we have the term A over there, or the Mach number M inside the energy equation, right? And knowing that energy equation for adiabatic flow, as previous equation for steady adiabatic in basic flow, one dimensional flow, action is given in our earlier lecture. So you may want to revisit back our earlier lecture. Okay, we have the energy equation where we have the entropy as station one plus the velocity as station one square over two, which is equal to the entropy as station two plus velocity as station two. However, we have to keep in mind that all the subsequent results in this uh, derivation fall in general along the street line and are by no means limited to just one dimension. So, if we have to consider a perfect gas, right? Or uh, perfect gas where the specific activity and constant pressure is constant, okay, it is defined as a calorically perfect gas. So for specific gas, we have this expression where H equal to CPT, right, and tau equal to specific capacity and constant pressure time temperature. So then this expression, the energy equation, becomes um, this component where you replace all the H into the equation right so we we know that h equal to cpt so if you place the entropy component you will get this expression at station one and station number two so we know that the uh, specific heat capacity minus specific capacity temperature as well as constant volume which is equal to the gas constant r right so you rearrange that Okay, and we know also the gamma for air at one and four, and it is equal to the ratio of the specific heat capacity at constant pressure to the constant volume. Right? So you may want to uh, replace that engine and you can get and get expression for the CP in terms of gamma and gas constant R. Right? So replacing the CP earlier okay, by this expression for, for CP, you will get this equation. And we know already from our previous lecture on sound uh, wave, right, the uh, speed of sound A equal to the square root of gamma RT, right, and then you then can also uh, put inside the equation uh, in this expression, okay. So if we consider point two in the equation eh, to be stagnation point where the stagnation speed of sound is denoted by A naught, right? So A is the speed of sound and it is at uh, stagnation speed which is A naught. Then the velocity at point two will be considered as zero eh, because where we, we have this, the um, uh, speed uh, to uh, reach at a stagnation, stagnation point. Eh? So the equation, eh, the earlier equation, will yield to this expression. So we drop the subscript 1. So in this equation, the speed of sound and velocity components are at any given point in the flow and if A0 is the stagnation or total speed of sound associated with that same point. Equivalently, if we have any two points along a straight line, the equation can be written as this, where we have the expression at A, we have the expression at 2, and uh, which is equal to the uh, uh, technician point, which is then equal to the constant, right? right? So we, if we... So I think this is this, okay. So we consider point two in the equation eh, to be sonic flow, eh, where we have 
A star over there, where U2 at point number two, okay, which is equal to the speed of sound. This the velocity at point two, when it is a sonic flow, it is equal to the A star. The equation earlier that we have already derived can be expressed as the term A star. So, um, and then we can rearrange that to, to get this expression. Then if we have any two points along a streamline, the equation can be written as follows. For in, in this case, we have a special condition where sonic flow, for sonic flow condition, we have the Mach number equal to equal to one. Eh? So this expression also can be uh, equated to a constant, right? So when we compare the two previous equation as below, so we have the first expression at the uh, stagnation point, and then we have the second expression at the uh, the sonic point, eh? so sonic so speed, so a star. So we can then relate the equations by this, eh? where you uh, compare these two, you can then uh, reach to this expression. Eh? On the left hand side, uh, we have special case for sonic flow condition where m marks on the one, okay, and for the uh, stagnation point uh, condition, we have the expression of the speed of sound A naught over there, right? So clearly, this defines quantities A naught and A star, okay, which are both constants along a given streamline in this steady adiabatic as well as in visit flow. Okay? If all the streamlines emanate from the same uniform free stream conditions then the A naught and the A star are constant throughout the entire field. So this is our, our assumptions. Eh? So recall the definition of previous total temperature which is T naught okay and consider point number two is the stagnation point where the U2 equal to zero Right, when whenever it is a stagnation point, the velocity at point two in this case, which is equal to zero, then the temperature at station two will be equal to the the uh, T naught, eh, T naught, which is um, the uh, temperature at the stagnation point. So the previous en energy equation, right, which is already being expressed earlier in terms of the specific heat capacity at constant pressure for station one and station two, then can be written, rewritten as the expression of T naught, right? So we know that uh, we replace uh, T2 as, a, as, as, as T naught, right? So we have U2 equal to zero. So this is the expression. So the equation define total temperature T naught can be calculated from the given actual conditions of the temperature and velocity at any given point in the general flow field. Equivalently, equivalently, if we have any two points along a streamline in a steady adiabatic in visit flow, right? Again, the same condition, this equation can be re rewritten as this expression where everything will be equal to constant. Okay. So you have the um, component of the uh, uh, energy at station one and then at station two, which is then equal to the specific capacity at constant pressure time the the total temperature, eh, which is then equal to constant. All right. So for a calorically perfect gas, eh, the ratio of the total temperature to the static temperature, meaning that T uh, naught over T eh, can be written as this expression so where we then can replace yeah, cpt plus u squared over two but uh, equal to cpt naught right you replace cpt naught over there and divide by t okay you can get that expression and rearrange it okay so that we can simplify the expression and it will become this by knowing that we also can replace the cp down there right by the gamma as well as the gas constant and knowing that 
dia uh, speed of sound squared equal to gamma RT. Rearrange the equation, we will have this expression. And then finally, we can rewrite the ratio of the total temperature to the static temperature in terms of the Mach number. All right. So recall from our previous uh, isentropic compression of the flow to zero velocity. So we have the stagnation condition uh, P naught, okay, and then pressure at the static condition P. So you can then rewrite, uh, put it there, and replacing T naught over T eh, that we already found earlier into the expression, and combining both equations, we will get this density sorry pressure um at uh, the uh, p not over p yeah, in the in term of the uh, mark number and the density uh, ratio um in term of the uh, mark number as well so you have to um, uh, pay, pay attention in term of the the index over there it looks the same it looks uh, uh, sound it looks about the same eh? but you can uh, just pay attention in terms of in terms of the index okay and hence for a given gas so for any given gas for example for air the gamma is 1.4 for other type of gases it's going to be different the ratio of uh, t naught over t p uh, pressure over p P not over P and density rho not over rho depend only on the on the Mach number. It does not depend on the on the velocity. Okay, right. So as a summary, okay. So we have already looked at the expression for special forms of the energy equation, which are very important, and they should be noticed that the equations provided the formulas from which the defined quantities right so we have the t naught uh, p naught and rho naught they can be calculated from the actual conditions of the Mach number the temperature the pressure and the density at any given point in a general flow field but assuming a calorically perfect perfect gas right now to move on yeah, now we consider the point in a general flow okay, where the velocity is exactly sonic and the velocity means that the we have at Mach number equal to one right and denote the static temperature static pressure and density at these sonic conditions as t star p star and rho star respectively so inserting m equal to 1 into our earlier equation okay the ratio of t naught over t so we will then uh, um, replacing uh, rearranging rearranging the expression for to, to solve it and you can get uh, t star over t naught ratio eh, in term of the in term in 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 this expression so you can then uh also uh, come up with the ratio of the uh sonic condition eh, p star over p naught and then uh, sonic condition for the density star over density naught eh, for if, if we put into the number for air and eh, where the gamma equal to 1.4 you will then get t star over t naught to be 0 0.833 eh? you may want to try to solve it by yourself you can also get the ratio of the uh, pressure at sonic condition over the uh, static uh, condition p naught equal to 0 0.528 and the uh, uh, density at the uh, sonic condition over the density at the static condition to be 0 0.634 all right okay now uh, let us obtain a relation between the actual Mach number Okay, M at local, okay, and this defined characteristic Mach number M star, which is at the sonic condition, okay. So, 
you have that expression earlier and we divide it by the velocity squared so you go through this you will get this expression by dividing it by u squared this equation divided by u squared you will get that and then uh, putting up uh, the expression for the Mach number and you can get Mach number square uh, in term of the Mach number at the at the sonic condition and rearranging to get M star squared. So you want to get this eh, to uh, to be the uh, on the left hand side. So you will get that expression. So we know that from this there, is, there are certain condition eh, for uh, mark number at sonic condition equal to one. Yeah, if mark number equal to one, if it is mark number uh, at sonic condition less than one, okay. If mark number equal less than one, and so on so forth. So therefore, the mark number um, x mark number star x qualitatively in the same fashion as mark number, except that the mark number star approaches a finite value so we in this particular case where mark number star approaches a finite value right where gamma plus one over gamma minus one uh, to the square root okay if in the condition of the mark number reaches infinity meaning they're at very high speed eh? so the actual mark number approaches infinity all right so in summary a number of equations have already been derived i know that it is quite uh, blurred at the moment because of the this this is a theory and yeah, later on um, we are going to look into examples eh? but not today we are going to continue uh, the say, the the topic uh, the examples uh, later on eh? so all of which uh, stem in one fashion eh? or another from the basic energy equation for steady in viscid adiabatic flow eh? make certain that you understand these equations and make sure that you become familiar with them before we progress further. So, so these equations are uh, very important, are very pivotal in the analysis of shock waves and in the study of the compressible flow in, in general. All right. Okay, now let us look into some uh, simple example. Example 2.5. This is a continuation of uh, last week's lecture. Okay, so if we look in example 2.2 earlier, the local Mach number was calculated to be equal to 2.79, right? So from uh, the equation that we have already uh, found earlier, eh, the ratio of T0 over T, eh, which is equal to 1 plus gamma minus 1 over 2 times the Mach number squared, right? So we put in the number for the gamma, is we have 1.4 minus 1 which is equal to 0 0.4 divided by 2 times the square of 2.79 you will get the ratio of the temperature to be 2.557 right so we know already in this equation in this previous example example 2.2 the temperature equal to 320 kelvin so the value of t naught in this particular case is where we know already from here t naught over t equal to 2.557 so you just rearrange it you get t naught to become 818 kelvin okay so from the equation from the uh, pressure uh, ratio eh, pressure p naught over p where we have this expression so you can then uh, put inside uh, the numbers and we have uh, uh, this expression okay so we have 2.557 that we already found earlier to this uh, power of 1.4 over 0 0.4 you will get the ratio of pressure uh, p naught over p to become 26.7 right so at the condition of p equal to 1 atm one atmosphere you will then get p naught to become 26.7 atm so in this example we use analytical equations eh, to obtain the answer for our subsequent example so there's another example 2.6 later on okay uh, we will use tabulation so you 
need to go into Appendix A in the Anderson book, yeah, which are obtained from the analytical equation. It's already being derived, it's already being tabulated. So these tabulations are a convenience that save, save us from working through the equation each time. So let us look into uh, what we have in example 2.6. Okay, over here, eh, consider a point in the flow where the local Mach number M eh, having a static pressure P0 of 3.5, static temperature T0, sorry, Mach number of 3.5, eh, static pressure P0 to become 0 0.3 atm and static temperature T0 to be 180 Kelvin respectively, right? So you have to calculate the local values of P0. What is the static pressure P0? Okay, uh, T0, T star, A star, and M star at this, this point, right? So if you manage to go to appendix A, right, there is a, 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 a table uh, showing the Mach number 3.5, you will then get the value of P0 over P and T0 over T that we require in this exercise. So for three Mach number 3.5, you will get the ratio of P0 over P, okay, the static pressure over the pressure at that point to be 76.27, and the ratio of the static temperature over the uh, temperature which is equal to 3.45 right so what you need to do next eh? hence uh, putting uh, using those uh, number obtained from the table then you will get p naught to become 22.9 atm and t naught to become 621 kelvin Okay, so for the case of mark number equal to one, right? So you uh, have T naught over T star equal to 1.2, then we can get the corresponding value for the temperature at the sonic condition to become 517.5 Kelvin, all right? Knowing the uh, expression for speed of sound at the sonic condition, Right, so we have A star and T star component over there. Using the value for air, gamma for air is 1.4, gas constant for, for air is 287. So you put down back the, num the value for the temperature at the sonic condition, you will get the speed of sound at the sonic condition to become 455, 56 meter per second. Right, whereas if you calculate uh, the speed of sound, of the air at 180 Kelvin, so you will then get 268.9 meter per second, where you can then find the velocity, right? Velocity uh, value using the Mach number times the uh, velocity speed of sound, 268.9, then you will get the velocity to become 941 meter per second, right? From there, you can then get the Mach number uh, star over there, putting the number in eh, using the uh, uh, speed of sound that we found earlier uh, at star condition to become Mach number of 2.06. Okay, so the above result for M star can also be obtained directly from the equation, right? So you can also get uh, from the equation where uh, using that expression earlier that we already uh, discussed, okay, you put in the numbers, you will still get the M star to become 2.06, right? So you have a choice. You can either uh, use the uh, uh, equation or you can also use information from, from the table, right? Next, uh, equation, sorry, example 2.7, okay? We want to consider an airfall. This is an airfall, right? In a free stream where the Mach number free stream is given to be 0 0.6 and pressure at free stream to be to be at 1 atm. Okay, at point one over there, 
right? The airfoil uh, on the airfoil where P1 is given to be 0 0.7545 ATM. Eh? Uh, free stream before it, it uh, go um, uh, across the airfoil, it is 1 ATM, but at point number one, eh, on top of the airfoil, it is 0 0.7545. ATM. So you have to find what is the local Mach number M1 at this particular point. And we assume isentrophic flow over the airfoil. So we know that we cannot use Bernoulli's equation. Why? Because the Mach number is already above 0 0.3. Okay, I will uh, highlight this again later on in a summary. Why? Uh, y 0 0.3 okay uh, so uh, which is known that it is not high enough eh, that uh, sorry it is known to be high enough that the flow should be treated as compressible so if we, if it is incompressible you can use Bernoulli equation right but in this case it is uh, at a very high uh, Mach number so we need to use the compressible equations okay so the free stream total pressure for m uh, infinity m free stream is 0 0.6 so from appendix a again you go into the appendix a and get the corresponding value of the ratio yeah? pressure ratios at at at, um, at this value so it is going to you will get this 1.276 so um and that is the uh, p not infinity all right and recall that for for an isotropic flow and the total pressure is constant throughout the flow so hence the p not one which is uh, equal to the p not infinity okay so it is equal to 1.276 atm so uh, putting the numbers p not one over ratio of p not one over p one right so we will get 1.691 so again from appendix a for the ratio total to static pressure equal to 1.69 we have mark number equal to 0 0.9 and so this is the local mark number at a point one over there okay All right so let us uh now move into before we have our short break eh? I, I i don't want to uh, I, I need to complete this before we go to the next session so that we don't uh, lose the momentum eh? um, another example example 2.8 okay for the condition that uh, already been uh, gone through we have gone through in 2.7 you now need to calculate the velocity v1 right what is the velocity we already found the m1 Okay, we know the P1, what is the V1 at point 1? On the airfoil, when the free stream temperature, T free stream equal to 59 degrees Fahrenheit. So, uh, bear with me, an example being given in, not in degrees Celsius or in Kelvin, all right? So, the flow velocity did not enter the calculation in, in example 2.7. You have to take uh, attention over there. For compressible flow, a eh, Mach number is more fundamental variable than the velocity okay? however we can certainly calculate velocities for compressible flow problems but in such cases we will usually need to know something about the temperature level of the flow and eh? the free stream temperature is need to be known we will need to deal with consistent unit right so since zero fahrenheit is equal to 460 degrees rank kind, right so we can get that expression right um, where we have uh, the free stream temperature to become 519 so the flow is isentropic so you can use this this expression for the pressure p1 over uh, p infinity right so you can then uh, rearrange that to get t1 okay and you will uh, then eventually get 478.9 uh, value degrees uh, uh, rank time for for the temperature at one eh? so the speed of sound uh, at a1 uh, is given as here where we have the component value of t1 we know the value of uh, r over there 
and we then have uh, the gamma value of 1.4 you will then get the speed of sound at that particular uh, position point number one to become 1072.6 feet per per second so then you will then get the velocity value eh? v equal to m a so you can get the value of the velocity at point one to become 965.4 feet per second all right